Hi and welcome to Chemical. In this video, we are going to learn about the motion of a projectile. We will cover both the horizontal motion and the vertical motion of a projectile. Let's get started. So how could we analyze the motion of a projectile? Well, most often, we study this kind of motion in terms of rectangular components. Why is that? The simple reason why we do this is because the acceleration which the projectile experiences is always acting in the vertical direction. Think about the following case in which we launch the cannonball with some amount of initial velocity in the xy plane. The cannonball will begin to follow a certain path which is dictated by this initial velocity v0. If we assume that the air resistance is insignificant, then our projectile will be subjected only to the force that is caused by its own weight. Thus, our projectile would also have a constant downward acceleration, of which the magnitude is approximately the same as the freefall acceleration g. Let's move on now and see how we could describe the horizontal motion of our projectile. Because our projectile only experiences vertical acceleration it doesn't experience any acceleration in the horizontal direction. Therefore, we obtain the following kinematic equations for the horizontal motion of our projectile. Note that the first and the last equations which we have obtained indicate that the horizontal velocity of our projectile remains constant during the whole path. Thus, these equations are not independent, but the second equation is. How about the vertical motion of the projectile? How could we describe that? By noting that the positive y-axis direction is upwards, our cannonball would have negative vertical acceleration. Then. By substituting this information into the same set of kinematic equations that we have used previously, we would obtain the following equations for the vertical motion of our projectile. Keep in mind that the last equation is based on eliminating time t between the first two equations. Therefore, we only have two independent equations to describe the vertical motion of our projectile, which are the first two equations. Hopefully, by watching this video, you know how the projectile's motion can be described by the set of kinematic equations related to both horizontal and vertical directions. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.